Sanvika Store Center, a bustling hub of activity, a place for shopping, dining, and socializing. Located in the heart of Sanvika, Norway, the shopping center was a familiar and comforting presence for locals and visitors alike. It was a place where people went about their daily routines, never expecting tragedy to strike. The multi-level shopping center was more than just a retail space. It was a community gathering point, a source of local pride. Its bright, airy design and modern architecture made it a popular destination. People felt safe and welcome within its walls. Little did anyone know, a day that started like any other would end in an unspeakable tragedy. The events of that day would forever change the way the community viewed their beloved shopping center. The sense of safety and normalcy would be shattered, replaced by shock and grief. The last rays of the setting sun cast long shadows across the bustling shopping center. Inside, the atmosphere was alive with activity. Shoppers browsed through stores, their bags filling with purchases. Friends chatted over coffee and pastries at cozy cafes. Families enjoyed leisurely dinners at restaurants. It was a typical Monday evening at Sandvika Store Center. The air was filled with the sounds of laughter, chatter, and the rhythmic clatter of dishes from the food court. A sense of normalcy pervaded the air, a comforting hum of everyday life. On the upper levels of the parking garage, drivers maneuvered their cars into empty spaces. They were eager to finish their errands and head home after a long day. Among them was a lone driver, heading towards an exit. No one could have predicted the horror that was about to unfold. In a matter of seconds, the ordinary would descend into the unthinkable, leaving an unforgettable mark on the Sanvika community. A deafening boom echoed through the shopping center, sending shockwaves of confusion and fear through the crowd. The sound was unlike anything anyone had heard before, a jarring blast that seemed to come out of nowhere. Shoppers froze in their tracks, their conversations abruptly silenced. On the floor below, a chilling scene awaited. A car had plunged through the ceiling of the parking structure, crashing onto the level below. Debris rained down from the gaping hole above, sending shoppers scrambling for cover. Screams pierced the air as the reality of the situation began to sink in. Witnesses described a scene of utter chaos and disbelief. The car, a mangled wreck of metal and glass, lay on its side amidst the wreckage. Dust and debris filled the air, making it difficult to breathe. The smell of gasoline permeated the area, adding to the already palpable sense of fear. Panic erupted in the aftermath of the crash. Shoppers fled in terror, desperate to escape the chaotic scene. Mothers clutched their children tightly, their eyes wide with fear. The once peaceful atmosphere had been shattered, replaced by a cacophony of screams, shouts, and the urgent blare of alarms. Amidst the chaos, there were also acts of courage and compassion. Strangers helped strangers to their feet, guiding them to safety. Employees of the shopping center worked quickly to evacuate the building, their faces etched with concern. First aid-trained bystanders rushed to the crash site, desperate to provide assistance. They were met with a scene of devastation. The car was utterly destroyed, and the fate of its occupant was unknown. The air was thick with the smell of gasoline, adding to the urgency of the situation. Section 5. First Responders on the Scene Sirens wailed in the distance, growing louder as emergency vehicles raced towards the scene. Police cars, ambulances, and fire trucks converged on Sanvika Store Center, their lights flashing urgently. First responders trained for such emergencies leaped into action, their faces grim but determined. Police officers quickly cordoned off the area, pushing back the growing crowd of onlookers. Paramedics, carrying stretchers and medical equipment, rushed towards the crash site. Firefighters, equipped with the jaws of life, prepared to extricate anyone trapped inside the mangled wreckage. The atmosphere was tense as first responders worked tirelessly, their every movement watched by the anxious faces of bystanders. Time seemed to stand still as everyone waited with bated breath for news. The hope was that the driver could be saved, that somehow, amidst the devastation, there would be a glimmer of hope. Section 6 a grim discovery. As firefighters worked to stabilize the wreckage, a sense of dread settled over the scene. The extent of the damage to the car was horrifying. The driver's side was crushed, leaving little hope of survival. Paramedics stood by, their faces etched with concern, but there was an air of resignation about them. After what felt like an eternity, firefighters were finally able to gain access to the vehicle. 
They worked carefully, their movements measured and deliberate, but the silence that followed spoke volumes. The grim reality of the situation was confirmed. The driver, a lone man, was deceased. A collective gasp rippled through the crowd as the news spread. Strangers hugged each other, their faces wet with tears. The weight of the tragedy pressed down on everyone present. In those heartbreaking moments, the fragility of life was all too apparent. Section 7. The investigation begins. With the immediate danger contained, the focus shifted to understanding the cause of the tragic accident. Police officers, their faces grim, began the meticulous task of piecing together the events that led to the car plunging from the fourth floor of the parking garage. The investigation would be complex and multifaceted. Accident reconstruction experts would examine the crash site, analyzing skid marks, debris patterns, and the trajectory of the vehicle. Engineers would assess the structural integrity of the parking garage, searching for any signs of weakness or failure. Witnesses, their voices trembling with shock, recounted their experiences to police officers, providing valuable first-hand accounts of the moments leading up to and following the crash. Their testimonies would be crucial in helping investigators understand the chain of events that led to the tragedy. Section 8. Searching for Answers As the investigation progressed, the community grappled with unanswered questions. What caused the driver to lose control of his vehicle? Was it a medical emergency, a mechanical failure, or something else entirely? The search for answers would be lengthy and painstaking, but it was essential for bringing closure to the victim's family and preventing similar tragedies in the future. Security camera footage from the parking garage would be meticulously reviewed, hoping to capture the moments leading up to the crash. Investigators would also delve into the driver's background, examining his medical history, driving record, and any potential personal factors that may have contributed to the accident. The investigation would be thorough and exhaustive, leaving no stone unturned in the pursuit of the truth. The findings would not only provide answers, but also serve as a stark reminder of the importance of road safety and the devastating consequences that can occur in the blink of an eye. Section 9, Community in Mourning. In the wake of the tragedy, a pall of sadness settled over Sandvika. The community mourned the loss of life, a life cut short in such a sudden and shocking manner. The bustling shopping center, once a symbol of normalcy and community, was now a solemn reminder of the fragility of life. Floral tributes and heartfelt messages of condolence poured in, transforming the entrance of Sandvika store center into a makeshift memorial. Strangers, united in grief, offered words of comfort and support to one another. The community came together, drawing strength from shared sorrow. The tragedy served as a stark reminder of the importance of cherishing loved ones and appreciating the preciousness of life. It also ignited conversations about road safety, mental health awareness, and the need for preventative measures to prevent similar accidents from happening in the future. Section 10, Preventing Future Tragedies. The accident at Sandvika Store Center sparked a wave of concern about the safety of parking structures. Authorities and building owners across the country faced increased scrutiny to ensure that their facilities met the highest safety standards. The tragedy served as a wake-up call, prompting a renewed focus on preventative measures. Building codes were reviewed and revised, with an emphasis on strengthening safety barriers, improving lighting, and implementing clear signage. Parking garages underwent rigorous inspections, and any potential hazards were swiftly addressed. The safety of drivers, passengers, and pedestrians became paramount. The legacy of the tragic accident at Sanvika Store Center extended far beyond the immediate community. It served as a catalyst for change, prompting a nationwide effort to enhance safety standards and prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. And so, from the depths of tragedy emerged a glimmer of hope, a commitment to learning from the past and building a safer future.